Herzlich willkommen! Im Rahmen der GDC 2023 gab es jetzt natürlich auch den State of Unreal Stream und da der 7 Stunden 30 Minuten geht, habe ich jetzt hier ein paar schöne Ausschnitte für euch vorbereitet. Viel Spaß! Hi everyone. <laughs> Our guiding vision for MetaHuman has been the democratization of complex character technologies, allowing you to work faster and see the results immediately. A character is only truly believable if its motion fidelity matches its visual fidelity, but animating at this level is a hard task for even the most skilled studios. Some of our best work leveraged 4D capture, but this took specialized hardware and weeks or even months of processing time. While MetaHuman Creator gave you the ability to generate high-quality characters, animating them still wasn't as easy. This is why I'm very excited to announce a new capability to the MetaHuman product, MetaHuman Animator. MetaHuman Animator contains the essence of our 4D pipeline, but optimized to run on a single machine. It is able to use iPhone as well as stereo professional systems, and today we're going to demonstrate how it works. For this, we're going to need Mel, our technician John Cook, and just the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Mel, can you take your position, please? Sure. Yeah. Let me know when you're ready. OK. OK, and action. I need performance capture to work like a mirror. I need it to capture whether I'm acting scared or angry. <sighs> and sometimes, all I need is a look. Cut. Thanks, Mel, that was great. Yeah, you're welcome. OK. Our technician, John, is currently pulling Mel's performance from the phone onto his machine, where everything will be processed locally. We have updated our Live Link Face mobile app to capture all data at the best resolution possible with the device. MetaHuman Animator uses video and depth data to convert um, uh, this data into high fidelity performance animation, and it can even use audio to produce convincing tongue animation. John is currently scrubbing through the take to pick the section that he wants to process. John, are we all good with the data? Awesome. So from now on, it's just a single button click to kick off the processing, which for a performance of this length will take less than a minute to convert into animation. So Mel, while that is processing, let me show you something else. Yeah. Oh, is that me? Yeah, this is what we refer to as your metahuman DNA. Cool, and this is generated by the capture we made earlier, right? Yeah, that's right. So from only three frames of video and depth data, we can generate a rig that predicts all of your facial expressions in just a couple of minutes. Wow, and do you only need to do this once for each actor? Yes, that's right. It calibrates the solver to your face so that we can produce the performance in, in, a, in a way that faithfully reproduces your original performance. That sounds cool. Yeah, so let's check back on the, on the processing, which today is on the latest CPU and GPU hardware from AMD. MetaHuman Animator uses a custom Epic Facial Solver and Landmark Detector. We can interactively look at the animation while it's being solved and compare it to your original performance. So it looks like it just, it's almost finished. After this, it's going to do one more pass to make the curves more stable, which is really quick. And from here on, we, can, we just need to export the animation. This takes only a few seconds, and then John needs to drop it in the level and add the audio so that we can see the result. So, Mel's MetaHuman should now be ready in the level. Mel, you excited to see the results? Yeah, can't wait to see it. <laughs> I need performance capture to work like a mirror. I need it to capture whether I'm acting scared or angry. 
And sometimes, all I need is a look. Thank you. So, Mel, what do you think? I think it's incredible because it usually takes months between performance capture and getting any results back, so this is blowing my mind. Yeah. <laughs> and all of this is solved directly onto animator frame and controls. In this case, we are using a bespoke 4D rig, which we created together with Ninja Theory for Hellblade 2, but it's also ready to use on any MetaHuman or any other rig that follows our new MetaHuman standard. Let's have a look at that. <laughs> I need performance capture to work like a mirror. I need it to capture whether I'm acting scared or angry. And sometimes, all I need is a look. So the same thing works even on stylized characters. 